Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. It's a Mythic Friday, so here we go. We got the Wild King. Really looking forward to trying and get this troop. It sounds absolutely superb. Cannot wait to um, get it and have a go. Well, I'm not going to say get it because that's counting your chickens, but um, try and get it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my glory chests first. Let's see if a minor miracle happens. If I get it with two glory keys, this will be absolutely ridiculous. It won't happen, but you never know. Let's go. No. Right, uh, let's pop these two VIP chests. Why not? Really sounds good, this mythic. Look, really good. Done a video on the Sparkinator troop yesterday. If you haven't seen that yet, I thoroughly recommend it. It's a, an amazing troop as well. It's available in the first paid for part of the current campaign. And you can get it up to a thousand attack really easily. Um, it's a fantastic troop really really like it uh, check that video out it's um the sparkinator just put the sparkinator into the search on my channel and you will find it really easily right so no luck with him obviously so let's pop out some guild chests got the wild queen she needs a wild king i think i'll do all of these Can pop up in these quite regularly. It'd be nice if it did. Can I have to save the gem keys? Come on. We know you're there somewhere. Just down to pot of luck with these. Sometimes you'll get it. There it is! The Wild King. Right, I was just about to say, sometimes you get it straight away, sometimes you have to spend an absolute fortune to get stuff, but there it is, the Wild King. Now, 22 mana cost, enrage all allies and give them 27 attack, then create a mix of 22 skulls and yellow gems. So, very similar to the way the Wild Queen works, obviously her spell is different, she reduces attack from someone and gives it to herself, so that is, this works a little bit differently. But I'm um, really looking forward to sticking this into some teams and giving it a go. Let's take a look at the traits. Allied wild folk gain to life. Summon a bone storm at the start of the battle. And all wild folk allies gain one magic when my turn begins. So the traits aren't anything fantastic, I don't think. But the spell absolutely is. So uh, check back. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be today or not. Depends um, what else is going on in, in the um, Gems of War world. Got to look around and look at the events and stuff like that. See what's going on. But there will be a video on this Wild King coming soon. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I have a habit of coming out with some quite nice teams. If I do say say so myself. On um, some of these uh, mythics. Trying to get the most out of them. So be sure to think about hitting that like and subscribe button if you've not done so already. Because... I've already got a couple of ideas for this fella and um, he's going to be an absolute lot of fun. So there's a video. Let's um, boost him up quickly while we're here. I can't see any value in trying to pick up two of them at the moment. I think one will be enough because with the mythics you normally need some sort of way of getting them uh, fast tracked towards their mana. It's like um, the whole point of some of these mythics sometimes is to get them cast as quickly as possible and start doing their damage you don't want to actually spend too long trying to get their mana so i'll be looking at that later on i was daydreaming then there he is the wild king next to the wild queen i'm not sure she would particularly want him sitting by her side all the time though he's not quite a looker in the same department as the wild queen anyway upgrade let's go to level 20 Always, if you can, when you get these troops, if you've got the resources, pop them up to level 20 absolutely straight away. I'm not going to get all the traits straight away. I've got to think about this first. I'm not sure about... That's good, but it's not spectacular. And I don't particularly always want a, a bone storm. But um, with the Wild Queen, you see, the reason is I'm done, not done that straight away is because, in a way, I would rather not have that bone storm all the time. Because sometimes the way you use a troop like this, you would prefer a different kind of storm or 
something different in the mechanic of the team to get her up again. But um, yeah, I probably will upgrade the rest of his traits uh, later on because um, that third one's not too bad. But and, and the way his spell works, that is going to actually go well with a, a bone storm anyway. But you don't always want it, so I probably will do that. But like I say, I'm not going to do it straight away because the trouble is, once you do it, you can't take it back again. I'd rather think about it a little bit first, um, decide later on, okay, I was wrong, it is best to have that bone storm, and then apply it then, than think, you know, just chuck them all on there, have all those traits, and think, oh my god, this bone storm really ruins a particular team, and then you can't take it back. So that is why I'm going to leave it like that, just for the moment. Well, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to think about bashing that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Got the Wild King. Yeehaw!